We're going to flip over the diamond when it comes to chalking up runs. ETSU has no problems. They hit eight runs in the first inning, but good news is they got pitching as well. Straight filth from Matthew Mercer. He finishes the fifth with a strikeout in the bats. Well, they started piling it on again. Drew Haney carries a big stick. And I'm talking like this kid doesn't miss arm day. Biceps on biceps. Now, the pole's a better door than a window, but the homer made it 9-4 to four in the fifth. And the Bucks weren't done just yet. Ethan Caddy's just 90 feet away from home. Jake Lyle smokes this back up the middle. Now, it's hard to go perfect from the plate, but the third baseman went 3-for-3 three three with two, bar, two RBIs on the day. Now, we know Ryder can put up the runs as we saw in the first inning. They put four up. But it doesn't matter. Mercer was mowing down battles. He'll get a pair to end the frame. He finished with five strikeouts on the day as East Tennessee cruises the rest of the way, winning 10 to 4. Our offense is capable of keeping us in games, but it's awesome to see him bounce back like that because you bounce back um, after you're down by four. I mean, that's tough. You can easily sit back and, and uh, feel sorry for yourself. We definitely did not do that. After yesterday, that, uh, you know, we had to bounce back hitting, and uh, we did. We capitalized on that pitcher. You know, we Fastball right out of the middle and curveballs hanging. So we capitalized on that and we took advantage. And the reliever right after him did the same exact thing.